Welcome to SETI Botany classes. I am Dr. Meena SETI. In this video, this is the second video of an area. In first, we discussed about its morphology, anatomy of uh, Funaria. Now, in this uh, video, we will discuss structure of sex organs, position of sex organs, formation of enterozoa, and how fertilization takes place, and formation of zygote. Now, in the last video, we have discussed how these sex organs, their position. Now, this is the branch, which is called as male branch. And here at the tip of the branch are present enthridia in group, and they are surrounded by a cluster of leaves. And this is the branch which is growing extra axillary upwardly. And here again, there is cluster of leaves. And in this cluster of leaves at the tip of the branch are present archegonia. Archegonia later after fertilization, they form sporophyte. This we'll discuss in the third video of Pinaria. Now all the sex organ, they are present on the same plant. So this condition is monoecious. When they are born on different branches, this is called as autoecious. And enthridia, they mature earlier and formed earlier than archegonia. This is called as protandrous condition. Now, if we've cut the LS of the male branch at the tip, we will found that enthridia are present in group at the tip of the male branch. And in between enthridia are present sterile structures. And these sterile structures, they are called as paraphysis, whose upper cell is swollen up. And these branches, which are sterile also, they are hygroscopic in nature. In on absorption of water, they will swell up. And when water is not available, they will dry up. And these are the leaves which are surrounding the group of enthridia. And these leaves, they are called as perigonia leaves. And this is the you can say tip of the male branch, and this is the stalk which is carrying the uh, male branch. At the tip are present group of enthridia. At maturity, you can see these enthridia are dehiscing open for the liberation of the enterozoite. Now, this is the body of the enthridia. This is multicellular stalk bounded by single layered jacket. Uh, color of the body can be reddish brown or orange in color. Inside are present large number of androcyte mother cell. This part is the tip, which is called as cap cell. Now, this androcyte mother cell, which will differentiate later on into enthirozoid. Now, this is again enthridium, and each androcyte mother cell will develop into androcyte or enthirozoid. And this is bioflagellated in nature. There are these are two flagella, which are of smooth and whiplash type. And this is the elongated nucleus. And this part is showing remains of cytoplasm. And now these enthridia, because they have a pair of flagella, and when water is filled up in the perigonial leaves, enthridia will dehisce open to liberate the spermatozoid. Now this is the dehiscence of the enthridia. Uh, from the tip part, when it ruptures, this um, mass of enthirozoid will come out. Actually, in this cup, whole cup, water will fill up and enthirozoid they will swell up and when they will swell up they will exert a pressure on the upper side and these enthirozoid will come out of the enthridia so ultimately they will be liberated from the enthridium now with the help of these flagella they can move toward the archegonia because where, where they are growing there is water and with the help of water they will move toward the archegonia or the female structure now if we see the female structure again present at the tip this is present at the tip in group clusters. So these, these are an archegonia present at the tip of the female branch. And each archegonium is elongated. Its neck is twisted, elongated and twisted. <clears throat> this lower part is uh, venter and this is the stalk. This is the elongated part is called as a neck. And the leaves which are surrounding the archegonia, these are called as perichetial leaves. In case of anthridia, it was perigonial leaves, and here it is called as perichetial leaves. If we see the structure of archegonium, this lower dilated part is called as venter, and this upper elongated twisted part is called as neck, and neck is having about four to six neck canal cells, and this is the tip part of the archegonium, and this is the venter canal cell just below the, just above the egg cell, and this is the egg, and at maturity, these all cells, they will degenerate and mucilage will come out. 
and this mucilage will attract enterozoite toward itself. And this is the haploid part called as egg. And egg is haploid, enterozoite, they are haploid. Now, enthridia mature earlier than archegonium, so enterozoite, they are liberated outside. They will move with the help of water current. And this mucilage, which was present at the tip of the archegonium, it has a certain chemical like malic acid. This will attract the enterozoite toward itself. So enterozoite will move toward the archegonium and they will travel the canal of the archegonium, reach toward the egg cell, and their flagella will be resorbed. Then egg nucleus and enterozoite nucleus, they will fuse, and this process of fusion of male gamete and female gamete, that is egg and enterozoite nucleus, this is called as fertilization, syngamy, and after fertilization, a diploid structure called as zygote will be produced, uh, its genetic constitution will be deployed, now this will undergo mitotic cell divisions to form sporophyte. Formation of sporophyte, formation of spore mother cell, and haploid spore. This we will discuss in the third video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have liked my video, please share, like, and subscribe.